Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to show you the theory of passive filters. Okay, see what is a filter? A filter is a circuit that is designed to pass signals with desired frequencies and reject or attenuate others. Okay, so just for example, I will show you. See, suppose this is omega in omega in frequency domain we are considering so this x axis is omega and suppose this signal is uh, in frequency domain is like this so it will allow a certain filter is a circuit which if we pass the signal through that circuit it will allow the signal for a certain frequency range that is if this is omega 1 and if this is omega 2 then the filter circuit will allow the uh, signal for this omega 1 to omega 2 range and it will reject these portions that means i will show you by another color these portions will be rejected and also these portions will also be rejected okay filter circuit will allow only this portion this is called filters okay so basically a filter is nothing but a frequency selective device according to frequency range it will allow some portion of the signal and it will uh, reject some portion of the signals okay now let us discuss about the types of filters based on the components electronic components whichever is used in that circuit okay so first of all passive filter what what is passive filter if it consists only passive elements like resistor, inductor or capacitor, if the circuit consists only these elements, then that is called passive filters. Then obviously another one will be active filter. If along with resistor, inductor and capacitor, if transistors and op-amps like these active elements are there in the filter circuit, then that is called active filter. Clear? Now, which filter? is used for which purpose okay there are two different filters we know but when we will use which one suppose we want the gain is maximum gain is unity suppose we want maximum gain as unity or one then we will use passive filter and if we want the maximum gain greater than unity then we will use active filters clear that's what i have written here maximum gain of a passive filter is unity and to generate a gain greater than unity one should use active filter okay so i hope it is clear that when we should use which filter okay now let us discuss about different types of filter see the first type is low pass filter from name it is clear what is the functionality of this filter it will allow the signal for the lower frequency components and it will reject the higher frequency components so it is the transfer function graph magnitude of the transfer function graph for various values of omega or frequency what is transfer function you all know transfer function is nothing but output by input in this case we will consider only the output voltage by input voltage okay and for transfer function we always do what that is we make the initial condition zero that is we have to calculate the output voltage by input voltage by assuming initial conditions zero in s domain s domain means by assuming inductor by by replacing inductor as sl by replacing capacitor as 1 by sc and resistor will be resistor and we have to convert the voltage and current source whatever in the circuit is there we have to convert that uh, sources uh, in s domain by laplace transformation then we have to calculate the output voltage by input voltage by assuming initial condition zero then we should replace s equal to what s equal to j omega then we get h of omega or the transfer function of the circuit okay so first of all we have to analyze the circuit in s domain and we have to replace s by j omega and we get h of omega and if we take the magnitude and we plot the graph of that magnitude for various values of frequencies then for low pass filter we get this graph see from 0 to omega c the a mod of h of j omega is 1 okay that means the gain maximum gain as i mentioned that there for passive filters maximum gain is 1 so that see for here the maximum gain is 1 and uh, see this is called pass band because it is allowing the signal to pass for this frequencies 0 to omega c for this lower range 
frequency lower range and for omega c to higher values of omega it will not allow the signal to pass so it is called stop band okay so the easiest way to analyze a circuit is low pass filter or not is this one that is h of 0 equal to 1 and h of infinite equal to 0 that means you calculate the h of g omega for that particular circuit that is output voltage by input voltage and replace omega by 0 and check if h of 0 is 1 or not because here for low pass filter the h at omega equal to 0 the transfer function magnitude of transfer function is 1 so h of 0 should be 1 for low pass filter and see h of infinite when omega is infinite the, then from this graph it is clear that it is uh, not allowing the signal to pass so it is under stop band so h of infinite will be 0 so this is the easiest logic to check whether a, a filter is low pass filter or not okay and then comes high pass filter this is reverse case of low pass filter from 0 to omega c it will not allow the signal to go so it is called stop band and for from omega c to higher value it will allow the signal so it is called pass band okay so what is the logic for checking a circuit is high pass filter or not that is you calculate the transfer function and see if h of 0 is 0 and h of infinite is 1 okay that means see for omega equal to 0 it is not allowing the signal so that output voltage is 0 so that output by input will be 0 so that h of 0 will be 0 so that means it will under stop band and for higher value of omega that is you suppose omega equal to infinite and then check h of infinite is 1 or not because from transfer function it is clear the magnitude will be 1 for very high value of omega that means it will allow the signal that will be under pass band so for high pass filter you have to apply this logic that is h of 0 equal to 0 and h of infinite equal to 1 okay this is all for my this video in my next video i will show you the band pass and band stop filter and then i will solve some numericals based on that topic thank you for watching